Continuing, Honest Heart. There you are. You see the dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. Dead sentries. What are we? Oh, the heads on spikes. Um. Yeah, that'll do it. That was the first place my mind went, was, you know, heads on spikes or bodies or whatever. I just didn't see them. They were slightly further down the road. Probably not worth the effort of bringing a scrap metal here, but whatever. I I'm gonna maybe just eat this fucking junk food. Uh, sure. One snack. Okay, waterfall back there. I thought we were going to the dead horses camp. We will be, my guy. Just chill. A little light exploration. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Fuck off, uh, pieces of shit. They hit you once and you just start disintegrating. That's the same one. Can't escape Casadors even here. Prince, dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Oh. I'll take a park ranger hat. We got some ammo. Aid box. Great. Pork and beans. You know what? Might as well. Oh shit! Campfire. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Up close. No. Nope. Keeping my well then. Let's get to trading. You give me all of the food. I'll even take the wonder glow. Okay, actually, hold on. If I'm fucking with your inventory, because well, we're going to end up, like, let's get to putting stuff back. Frankly, I'm just going to clean this whole inventory out, because we can merge some of this shit, probably, um, and go from there. So, ah, shit, there's one more plant over here, which we might not have. All right, fuck it, we'll limp. Limp, limp, limp. We're just going to grab this. It's like, uh, rock flower, yeah. I think this is the first campsite. Okay. I am curious, too, about if there's anything else here that we can make with a little bit of extra 
uh, survival, because we have magazines. Soda, bottles. Turpentine, spore plant pods, flower. Yeah. Nah, looks like we're missing a lot of stuff. Rushing water. Attack speed. That seems kind of good. Especially if it's like not addictive. But I feel like it's got to be addictive. It's got fucking jet in it. Like, I don't think it's worth a magazine just to make a few rushing waters. Ooh, party time mentats. That's nice. Actually, uh, we should have made these a while ago. I mean, we only just got the science skill requirement, but this would have been like three levels ago. But uh, yeah, this this is another nice modifier. Well, we make one. Healing powder, I don't think is worth it. Slasher? This appears to just be straight up damage bonus. Slasher sounds like it would be melee, but I'm going to take this just to be improved psycho. Uh, if I make all of this, it'll take all of my stimmies. Let's make like three of these. Okay, so... Well Let's get oh, I gotta repair merge weapons here. So, 215, 10 mils worth a lot more than the 9. That fire axe is basically repaired. Hunting rifle into hunting shotgun. Seems good. Actually, I think the hunting shotgun was something we were technically working on repairing. Um, survival 5. How about that? I wonder if this is a unique or it's just an item for this DLC. That's actually a really good hat. Like, that's better than our cowboy hat. Like, for a hat, right? Perception and a skill up is pretty nice. I don't think I'll be wearing that. Although I don't hate the aesthetic, actually. We could, we could wear it for the duration of, of this adventure. Okay, has not added anything. Five points and do shit. I think we needed, I think we needed ten for the one recipe I looked at. I don't know why I checked because I knew there was just the one recipe anyway. No, I, I'm kind of amused by the idea of wearing the park ranger hat. I think uh, survival affects the healing gain from food, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I guess sleep is... Is this like... Is there some, some scripted thing here where I'm not going to get tired? What is this? There's no number. 100 food, 145 on water. So this is going to make me thirsty, apparently. Well then, let's get to trading. We could, of course, have uh, held off and see if we get the opportunity um, to find some clean water somewhere, but like I need the healing anyway. Buffs HP, remove some sleep, 
Restores limb condition, but damages agility. Weird, weird item. What a, what a, just a big um, amalgam of a bunch of different effects. I mean, we're gonna come out of this with a ton of fucking uh, forage, which is gonna be maybe may good. Uh, Sacred detour route must be the item used for crafting, surely, right? Because I don't know where else we'd have gotten that. I have no need of Wonder Blue, I don't think. I think... I want to say... Duct tape's what I need? I think we have a ton of Wonder Blue and not much duct tape. There can't really be a place where... I want to see here. Uh, Datura. Yeah, Sacred Datura route. Okay. Great. People going to big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Bro, bro, there was a clean toilet right here to drink from the whole time. All right. You ever just walk up to what is equivalent basically a ruined outhouse in a park and just drink toilet water for fucking 10 minutes because uh welcome to the apocalypse I, I love that it's clean too like this is suspicious Wait, all the water's clean here. Oh shit. Eastern Virgin, that's the river. show the dead horses victories against other tribes lots more of them since Joshua came to us I have an urge to shoot the fish well then let's get to trading I want to go investigate this nice looking tree. Okay. Well, there's also that nice looking barricade there, so maybe we'll quick save here. I feel like this is not the direction we're supposed to be going, though. So, like, maybe I should turn back. You know. Okay, not nice. Not actually a barricade, of course, but somebody is fucking camp. Okay, I don't need more anti venom. So we got, um. Okay, making venom doesn't really do much for me here. We got, yeah, prickly pear fruits. So six pear fruits to get those used up. That's what I wanted to, to check. Oh, let's make sure we got the skill. Um, cactus water, yeah. Still no flower or turpentine. Homebrew Nuka Cola. Okay, wait. So we can make this as well. Okay. 
that we don't have anywhere near the skill for that. Wait, I was I was able to make this before. Did I have the hat on when I was cooking? I don't think so. Did I have a survival bonus from something? I'm confused. Wait, I'm wearing the hat now. Wait, is the hat minus five instead of plus five? Is it like bugged or something? Hold on, we'll check this in a second. Um, okay, so the, the cactus thing. 95 water. Homebrew Nuka. Substantially less water, but a bit of sleep. But like, who gives a shit? Okay, hold on. Uh, survival, 45. 40. How was I at 50? Did I imagine it? I'm... Maybe I was never able to make that, and I was actually... Well then, let's get to trading. Oh shit, was it Barrel Cactus and I only, I only have one? I used them all? Yeah, it was. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, I think we wanted one agave then for the for the other thing, probably. Okay, well that was an immense waste of time, but whatever. Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. You don't say. It sound like there was a robot following me for a second. I guess maybe I was supposed to go down the river. Oh, there's little, like, lines. Are these, like, territories and tribes or something, maybe? I mean, it's definitely, like, the border. You can tell there's, like, a border around the actual, like, DLC area. Two Skies Cave. Didn't even know we had that. We couldn't fast travel back. I should check if that's where the uh, the duster is. No, I'm pretty sure the duster is in a cave that's like bone something. Okay, I guess we are supposed to go down the river. Definitely not down the road at least. Also, there's a path back through the hill. Also, completely ignored. Oh, Lad's life. Completely ignored these bottles as well. Actually, I don't know if Vasparilla bottles were used. Had to sneeze. I'm allergic to Sasparilla bottles.
This is probably a sarsaparilla bottle. It's just glitchy and I can't see. Oh, empty sunset sarsaparilla bottle zero of one. Wait, what? What what did I have? What were what did I just pick up? Empty sunset sarsaparilla bottle three. What the fuck? Did it glitch? Because it was glitching out when I tried to scroll. Empty sunset sarsaparilla bottle zero of one. What in the shit? Okay, so the obvious thing here, probably in the internal game code, the ingredients are, you know, going to be like item indexes or something, right? And there might just happen to be two versions of Empty Sunset Sarsaparilla Bottles, right? So this is like Empty Sunset Sarsaparilla Bottle item fucking 7x5, and the other version is item 003 or whatever then yeah it would be it would make some sense why we can't use those oh that's interesting seeing a little gap through the rock that feels intentional that doesn't feel like a hole in the terrain especially because like the map marker is pointing almost in that direction Oh, oh, fuck. Where's he going, though? Mantis go. There it is. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Manta's surprisingly sturdy there. Also might want to be a little conservative there on the rifle ammo. We burned through a fair bit of that at this point. Wait a second. That's the camp there. I wonder if there's a path up. There's got to be a path up like over there on that side. Okay, we're gonna strictly use the six shooter here for a while. I'm gonna conserve. Going to big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. It's called gambling, my dude. It's pretty sick. Anyway. I'm nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow. Eh? Bro, seriously, what kind of traps in the water? I see. Okay. I don't... Thematically, I don't really want to disarm their shit, but it is worth XP, so fuck it. I will shut down your traps. Is it going to be just like one fucking bear trap? That's their defensive line? No, that's not. It would have been really funny, though, if it was just one bear trap. Watch out for traps in the water. Just one fucking bear trap. In the middle of the river. Well then, let's get to trading. I look like a pack Brahmin to you?
Yeah, Wonder Glue is 110. Hold on. Uh, science. Okay, you can't shoot the fish. I had to know. <laughs> I had to know. I, uh... If I get encumbered, I could pop something here for weight. Because I do... I'm gonna assume... There's going to be a vendor in the camp, because, like, surely there will be a vendor in the camp. Fallen Rock Cave. Okay. I would like to figure out... Um... Where the fuck I can sell shit. Okay, we found them. Is this actually... Did we make a loop? We did, I think. Maybe? I feel like, no, this this here was the camp, right? This little inlet. This is entirely different. I mean, it is the here camp. Joshua's just ahead there in the angel cave. Okay, I can steal their bottles, but not their meat. Priorities. Death Force Stalker, Warrior. Sacks are stealing. That's probably the Angel Cave, I would guess. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're all generic NPCs. I might... Here's what I might do. I might Google safe storage and see if there's someplace nearby we can set up a fucking camp. Why don't I go and do that? Okay, here's been my... This is Jesus words. Okay, this is my solution to storage. Uh, apparently the duffel bags here at the very start of the map are safe. So I've just uh, gone ahead and chucked all like the crafting material and like the unique items we're going to keep, like the armors, the 45 auto, uh, in here for safekeeping. Now, since we're back here, I'm also going to go check out some of the caves we skipped. So there's two skies here. Um, and then we saw, yeah, Fallen Rock. Let's go, let's go look for this two skies one. Poke around. Apparently, some of these caves might also be safe storage, but I've seen some conflicting statements on that, with people saying there's items that can disappear. Um, so I don't really want to use the caves. I'm going to trust that the bags are good. Uh, apparently the caves, though, do have crafting benches, so it could be an opportunity for us to make some armor. Sit down underneath us here in the water, maybe? Yeah. I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is this the first time we've encountered cave fungus? I 
feel like it might be. Good thing I was crouched. What trap was this? Ah. Well, I think we can officially say that this cave is inhabited. Or was inhabited. Water? I mean, I have my rebreather on. Fuck it. That's very special looking. Might just be supposed to be light shining through a cave opening, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Make sure that dude doesn't trigger this shit. I like the uh, using the the branches here to conceal the uh, the traps. It's fun. Yeah. So if these are like the little bases they talked about being in caves, this does not seem like a good way to set up a campsite because it's like under the water way back in the cave. Like, this seems bad. I don't good to... think I had a use be doing some actual scouting. for an egg timer. I can't remember. I've forgotten some of the medical stuff. I'll uh, I'll check it after the episode's over. And the egg timer and see what actually we need to keep from that. What the fuck? Is that a trap? I mean somebody went hard here on on yeah. Insta mash and cram. Ooh, okay. You know what? I will take the conductor until we figure out, um, what we're all gonna need while we're here. Stockpiling a few extra crafting items and food and shit, maybe not the worst thing. Appreciate the lead. I don't remember if wrenches 
I've like really forgotten some of the recipes at this point for some reason. So I'm just gonna take everything. There's definitely something in here. No, wrenches were used. Wrench wrenches were in the repair kits. I think I'm just getting confused with like combination wrenches versus like other wrenches in Fallout 4 because there's like two different variations. Uh, okay, so my inclination is to scrap out our ammo. Basically everything except for the useful stuff. 556, 45, use any rifle app because it's all pistol so there's no point in breaking down the 308 in the same sense well pistol powder does come from this This is, uh, 44, right? Yeah. Okay, we got no cases left. Get to trading. Uh, might as well repair the Desperado cowboy hat. about poisons don't know how they work and I don't really care that much to find out because it doesn't really fit the theming of the character so I remain unconcerned okay I know we need this I know we need this no wait on that yeah, actually, uh, for like, for weight reasons, metal like braces are a definitely a you. thing. I look like a pack Brahmin to you. For uh, yeah, Come on. shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> uh, for for the purpose of like min maxing during a DLC, scrapping out ammo into components actually does reduce the weight. Well, you enjoy that armor, I guess. Alright, out uh, of the way, fucko. It's got a whole ass computer. 2083, 2084, 2095. Okay. Comeback goes on. Quickly prepared a list of survivors with honey, mesquite, and banana yucca. What? Oh, so like surviving plants? Odd nodules, mutation, safety. Okay, so this is like very shortly after the war, going through like local plants and figuring out what's still safe. Something new. Big horn sheep.
Okay. So is this is that like gonna be the theme of this these caves is like uh the original survivors who like degraded into the tribes or something. They hid out in the caves initially. Got back tired, right tomorrow sleep. Circle packets of radiation. Okay, so his family was nuked. He was out here in the park, maybe. Probably like a park ranger or something, right? Okay, I mean, this implies that he was... He found his way here. So he was like on the road okay yeah so specifically talking about the traps too then 10 years later Other survivors watching watching fucking this is like like a like a person studying chimpanzees or something this is weird He's like a guardian angel for the tribe in, in formation here. Well, that's only like, what year is the war? 77, right? Less than 20 years later, they're speaking degraded language. It's fine. Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. I wonder, there was a scrap metal, metal to scrap recipe, but that would be probably the other bench type, which doesn't seem to be here. Only the reloading bench seems to be here. We're gonna clear a little bit of junk. Tin plate doesn't matter. The wrench, I don't really think I necessarily need to be making weapon repair kits here, but it maybe it'll happen anyway. Oh, we're mobile again. Oh, there's a butter knife. Hold on. The shadow of a ghost. Oh, there's the scrap metal I was looking for. May the weapons are unarmed with your harm. Requires key. So I probably can magazine this. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause and look up what I actually need to keep here. Perhaps unsurprisingly, everything here is actually useful. Okay. 
Okay, more lead. Uh, for 44, we need cases of 444 Magnum, which we just don't have. Yeah, okay, no problem. Uh, we might as well make as much 357 here as we can. Okay. Great. Still over income. Uh, so the egg timer, that can go. That that makes a time bomb. I'm never making it. It takes like a high amount of explosives. Uh, not an option. In terms of melee or unarmed, 34 unarmed. Melee is at 48. Damn. Okay, so if I actually just eat... Anything for strength. I'm gonna just use this fucking ant nectar. Uh, Brahmin steak strength one. Like, the ant nectar is better if I'm gonna try and haul some shit out of here in the end. I think we just take the Brahmin steak and say fuck it. Okay, so apparently, yeah, if we'd have come this way, we could just disarm it. Let's check the computer. Might be other messages. Five of nine on arranging is pretty good. Probably then ends in an ING. Like, the long game. Okay, yeah, nothing nothing to be done here because we blew it up, or shut it down. Um, well, I guess we shut it down by blowing it up. These are both accurate statements. Okay, brain fungus, not a thing in, in New Vegas. So is this... Oh! We were... Okay, there's the entrance, like, right there. We did the long way around. Which makes sense. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I could see using this as a base then. I mean, this one's only got the one bench though, so like, eh. Not, the ma not amazing. Okay. I also did see online that Joshua Graham is a vendor, apparently. So we could backtrack the Southern Passage, drop shit off, or we could just forge ahead to the dead horses camp and see where that gets us i think we'll do that let's go talk to joshua graham this episode i can always uh deposit shit between episodes which would be a bit better hi auslander zuka joshua graham uh say again show respect auslander joshua graham greatest war chief I think it was actually fairly understandable, but whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, one fungus over encumbers me. He's got, uh... I was gonna say, does he have his undies show in there? But no, he's actually got, like, a loincloth. <laughs> it, it just looked like some, like, old fucking... whitey-tidies from, from that angle. The way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan. That, that thing to the Thank you, guy. Well, I'm just gonna limp to Joshua Graham, goddammit. The promise of a vendor is too alluring. Okay, it looks like he's right around the bend. We're gonna get to him, he's gonna have like fucking uh, excuse me. What the fuck? What is this? It's 
one firebomb in the hand of a crushed fucking body. Weird. And it's stealing. Fun environmental detail. Very weird. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. This animation's fucking fun. But we can't expect God to do all the work. How do you uh, know so much about what's going on here? The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. I came here with the uh, Happy Trails to make contact with the new Canaanites. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites. Almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. Well, can I help you guys out? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. All right. Uh, I'm on it. Thank you. Follow's chop can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Worst trap. Okay. Salvaging run. I'm down. Got his big pile of guns. Oh, fun. These ones are actually stealable. Huh. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Uh, bu -bu 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 uh, okay, all sorts of shit. What did you say about a courier? Who are you expecting to show up? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. Interesting. Uh, praying to a god? What is this? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Uh, if you say so. Whether there is a god or not, his existence doesn't depend on what you believe or what I say. 
There is much to be skeptical of in this world. So it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. But I believe that our Lord was made flesh as Jesus Christ and died to redeem me. And you. And the sorrows. Even the white legs. Everyone. Nice guns! In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. God be with you. Okay, so yeah, he does have a, a trade inventory, it seems. Where the fuck is what, my dude? There you are. Well then, let's get to trading. you down with other stuff. Uh, sensor module I don't think we need to hold on to. Mm, or the fission battery, really. Probably don't need the conductor either, actually. We'll see what we can sell here first. Welcome back. What can I do for you? You the uh, head man in charge here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. What's the deal with all these tribes around here? A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Why did the, uh, the White Legs attack? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's Legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Do they speak uh, English? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. Is Res like reservation? They're just a tribe based off of like some Native American survivors or something, maybe. Uh, I haven't seen. Actually, let's just go down the list. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? I mean, we know that they it doesn't. The valley belongs but to God. Whatever. But no, the dead horses live at Dead Horse Point up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I return to the fold. I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. 
I haven't seen any sorrows around. The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaowai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Uh, do the new candidates really count as a tribe? We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Hmm. Of course. All right, uh, trade. We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. Okay. Okay. 45 slide and silencer. Auto SMG comp drums. Okay, I mean... It's got a thousand caps. Not bad. Inventory... A little limited, but not bad. Sells a lot of ammo components, which is interesting. War Club casings and honors. Should we uh, upgrade a War Club for the companion just for thematic reasons? Could. Yeah, see, just the 10 mil submachine gun and the fire axe, like, it's gonna clear them out. Let's buy all the upgrades. I'm okay adding, um, you know, upgraded versions of these things to basically just to the collection, essentially. Just to have for fun. Might, might buy an auto pistol from them here. Because, like, who knows if they're loot anywhere or if they just have to be bought because it, 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 if it's the new canaanite weapon like well they're all fucking dead apparently so i could buy all of his cherry bombs which is interesting i think for thematic theming reasons like i don't want to buy components for ammo either i think tearing apart ammo to make ammo has been interesting so i'm gonna keep on that Heal perception and limb damage. Does that mean remove, like, perception debuffs? I saw a video of somebody using this weapon binding ritual and a bunch of other melee buffs to go, like, ham on a bunch of fucking legion guys or something. Not our, not our, not our thing here, though. Primer. I could buy a prickly pear fruit. Seems a little unnecessary. lunch boxes fresh potato i mean legitimately fresh potatoes are not very common frankly i am gonna take the cherry bombs fuck it i will take 145 auto pistol as well i think I'm thinking uh, I might want to get rid of the consumables. Because I don't really want to give them to, like, the companion. It doesn't have a war club. Doesn't sell any armor. 765, so we got like 300 left here.
take those back. Vision battery is a little too much. Seven. Well, that's almost perfect. Do I really want his last cat? Probably. We could sell you a bucket. Pre-war money. All right. Could also maybe convert uh, some caps to repairs here. Let's check this. So. Oh, I can repair the workload with the cleaver. Sure. Insert a slide. Nothing to repair it with. Well then, let's get to trading. This is for you. Up you're, close. You're now a melee guy. Enjoy that war club I've given you. We'll give you the leather armor back in a second. So if we do, Welcome let's back. let's make sure this works. Uh, repair. Let me have a look. My tribe may take too much pride in its mechanical talents, but in truth, we are intrigued by the workings of a fine firearm. Okay. 44 caps. I mean, I could just repair... basically everything that matters. Okay, yeah, and that does go to his inventory here. Perfect. Twelve left. You know what? Just take a dynamite. I don't give a shit. Did I accidentally sell something I wasn't supposed to? Why did this... I feel like there was more items here. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Well then, let's get to trading. Oh no, there are. What the fuck? Why did it shift? That was really weird. All right, leather armor for you. Should have sold that White Legs outfit probably too. A little heavier than some of the other stuff. Um, yeah, we just need to get mobile. Oh yeah, I never sold like the anti-venom and stuff either. Well, whatever. Um, okay, he's got a reloading bench. Actually has a crafting bench proper too. So we should use that. Exit to Eastern Virgin. Nothing over there. That's a straight exit. Uh, let's let's talk to him one more time. Welcome back. Uh, personal question. Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Okay. Well, that was quick and easy. All right. Cool. Well, you're upgraded. You're ready to go and contribute. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, wrap this one up here. Until next time. If I can find OBS.